Mm. Mm. Oh my god, this is mm. so good. Sorry. There's like all this butter in the frosting. Oh, sorry. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the episode of How in Your Life. <laughs> As you I see we have cake in your teeth. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here with Frank Abraham, who is the producer of Cooking Hawaiian Style, and we're eating one of the uh, things that they made on the TV show. And <laughs> uh, what is this? It's a, well, it's a Papalua uh, Hawaiian fudge cake made with Hawaiian chocolate from the Big Island. Mm. And then the frosting is made with coconut milk, crushed Melly Max from Island Princess, and toasted coconut. I can taste it. And it's not the that. official name, but it's a really long name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. But it's good. It's kind of like a brownie, right? Mm hmm. So, it's really good. So this TV show that you have, you're going to have like all kinds of celebrity chefs and... And not um, so celebrity chefs. Oh, okay. I mean, if I had the guts, I would probably go on as well, but... You should. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, and it's all local companies, local products. Local people, and, local products, yep. Okay, so, and this is one of them. Um, what other kinds of recipes are you, or can you tell us? Or we have to what are, oh, well, one of the ones I'm excited about coming up next is um, my Auntie B is making patelli stew. What? Yeah. Oh my God. From scratch. So, what? and it's, oh, it's so, oh no, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so we're in the back grading green bananas right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes patelli stew anymore. I think yeah. maybe Rex Freitas does. Rex, I saw Rex yesterday. <laughs> so, classmate, Hi, another classmate yeah. from Po'o School. So if you saw in the last segment, Frank is my classmate from Kononako. Um, he went to Roosevelt, but we like him anyway. <laughs> and um, he's got this a big time TV show. Now, the TV show that you started off with was on the web. Were you the host? Your no, host? Lanai was the host too. All this time? Yep. Oh, okay. And so, the, actually, and when we first started, we weren't expecting to do anything for TV. So, it's not formatted, and so maybe we'll put it on DVD, you know, and that'll be an incentive for people to purchase the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a plug? Oh, the Chinese boy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And, um, are, so those those webisodes, they're not going to ever make it to TV because of the formatting? Yeah, we might try to salvage one or two. I mean, we had some really good people. We had Augie T, we had um, Melvin Lee. Oh, okay. Um, so, what kind you know, of stuff did they make? She made, Auntie Melvin made a um, Polynesian crustacean, or crustacean Polynesia. And it's coconut milk, crab, shrimp. I mean, it's really good. Oh. And Augie made everything cabbage. So cabbage Portuguese sausage. Cabbage and corned beef, you know, real local. <laughs> kind of like corned beef and cabbage, but yeah. with a different meat You know, and it, type. the thing that it's, it's not so much about only the food, but it's how we grew up and why we eat what we eat. You know, sometimes a lot of us grew up with not so much money. So the slant on that was about how we grew up stretching our food, you know, with cabbage or tomato sauce, or, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and I think that's important for people to understand where we came from. Now, when you live on the mainland now, so. What do you like to cook at home? Oh, just about anything. <laughs> but, you know, I try to, I like to experiment. So, you know, I'll do different things. And uh, But, you know, it's always the classics. Hamburger steak, chili, stew, uh, oxtail soup, you know, and those other things. Ma, can you, you know, I'm coming home. I'm bringing some luau. Can you boil the oxtail? Oh, <laughs> you lucky. Know? Yeah. Now, and are you a chef in California? Or? No, I'm oh. a computer geek. I'm a, I consult for different companies, and, and that's kind of how the web st uh, website started. Um, you know, I always like to mess around with computers, and mm -hmm. so I started uh, a website, and... Uh, and the rest is uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're away, what, what do you miss the most? I think, really, the simple stuff. Um, Fried simon, mm. simon, like real simon. Are you there know? no simon in California? No. Well, they do, but you know, it's not the same. Yeah, and they don't have all the good toppings. And then noodles. Nobody makes noodles like we do in Hawaii. So all of you that live in Hawaii, you're spoiled. So really? It's totally different. <laughs> you know, gravy noodles. And actually, that's one of the people that we're having as a guest is Titus Chan. I don't know if any of you remember Titus Chan. <laughs> but I grew up imitating him. I mean, voice and all. So. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get him? He lives here? Or he, he lives here and uh, where's John? John's not here. Um, when we were in high school, and I hope I don't get us in trouble, but uh, for a junior prom, we rented a house from Titus Chen. You did? Yes, so we could have our after party. Wow. <laughs> but we were good kids. We were good kids. And, you know, and we, I explained to him ahead of time, hey, we're having a little party. And he was okay. So it was, a, it was amazing to connect with him again. I shared with him how I used to imitate him. 
and he's going to share with us how to make gravy noodles and cake noodles. So, is it easy? Do you know? I don't know yet. Oh. But I'm hoping I want to copy his recipe because <laughs> that's one thing that I really, really miss is the gravy noodles and cake noodles now. So. Huh. Who would have thought? I know, right? You take it for granted. You guys. All right these. Here. Oh, no. There's really not hamburger steak either. In, really? Yeah. And that's a Hawaii thing. Wow. So. I'm shocked. <laughs> I totally take that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. See, everything you take for granted is, is are the things that we miss the most. Do they even have shave ice where you live? Actually, places are getting better with shave ice. But, you know, before it was snow cone, you know, crushed ice. Yeah, kind of gravelly. Uh, <laughs> and they don't use the good syrup, you know, like we have over here and the, the halpia cream and all that stuff. So. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay. So, and that's, you know, that's why we're doing this show. It's not only for us, but it's also for people like me who have moved, you know. Yeah, and you need yeah. to find some good local food, make it yourself. And, and show everybody else what they're missing out on. <laughs> Are the recipes fairly easy? Or? You know what, there's a huge range. I think there's stuff really easy, and there's also very advanced. I mean, we have chefs. I mean, we even have Chef Tabura from uh, Aloha Plate. Okay. I mean, and even on set, he's really helping us refine what we're doing and maybe even taking uh, what we're doing on set to uh, uh, the next level. You know, kind of refining our process, refining how we present food mm -hmm. and how we share our food, so. Oh. Um, so, if we want to see your episodes, we should tune in to OC16 on Monday nights. Um, also, 7 30. We, can, we can see it on uh, Oceanic's website? It'll yeah. be on their website, oc16.com, uh, and I, I think it's .tv as well. They have two sites. So. Is it like, uh, is that the on-demand channel? Our, our <laughs> cameraman's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear him do Titus Town. Oh, yeah. No, no, Should no, no. <laughs> okay, you, <laughs> you stir it up and you mix it up like so. <laughs> it's kind of rusty, but... <laughs> But I used to run around the house imitating him all day long. I used to irritate everybody. <laughs> Are you going to do that on set when he no. comes? No, not at all. probably not. <laughs> I think I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> he might He might ask you to do it. Yeah, I'm yeah, surprised he hasn't. Because I told him, I'm like, I used to imitate you, vote, you know, your accent and all. But we'll see <laughs> if I get brave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tune in to... Um, OC16 on Monday nights at 7.30, especially since Hawaii Five-O is not on that night. <laughs> yeah, if not, record. No. Yeah. <laughs> Support and us. Follow him on Twitter, uh, check out his updates on Facebook, and also check out his website, which um, I heard is like the top 10 something. When I said something about... It's the top 5 now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty up there, and surprisingly, I think because a lot of, I think one of the amazing things is local people really support local people, and I love that. Yeah, that's true. Local people support local people. So, support this local people. Support me. <laughs> Check out his site, um, try some of the recipes and share it with me, and and we'll, we'll critique. Can we leave comments on your website? Oh yeah, even on the website there's a Facebook little comment, so be nice. Okay. We'll do and that. try my killer brown gravy. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. Does it go on everything? It goes on everything. Yeah, all over the rice. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to eating this cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>